Okay, now we're going to install Panel Builder 32. This is for panel view HMIs that are mounted in the field. This is how you create the graphics and interface these to the PLC. Uh, so we'll click on Panel Builder 32. And again, we're going to need our activation. Um, Read me activation instructions. Highlight our serial number and copy. Hit Setup Exec. Next, so strongly recommend you exit all Windows programs. It's okay. Next, yes. Put in your serial number, paste. Next, is the information correct? Yes. And next, default destination. Next, typical installation. Uh, typical installation without RS links. We've already got RS links installed. So typical installation without RS links. Next and next. Program folders next. And we're going to run panel builder. Finish. Okay, you can create a new application. So say, uh, new application, you pick your panel view. Like, uh, we have a panel view 550 with Ethernet. It could be serial port, a DF1. It could be device net or control net. But device net, DF1, uh, you may have data highway 485 for slick 500s. And then, Ethernet will be your most popular and you would do this and uh, you put in the application name say PV550 uh, um, Ethernet and then you hit OK and this is what the panel view would look like right here should be your screen your push buttons if you got a keypad on the side some are just touch screen only uh, this one here has um, keypads on it and you just program it you go into your uh, screens which we got here and you can create new screens so you can say a new screen and create a new screen out there to program something else when you press a button like get a screen one screen two screen three and you can get the book and read on this get the quick start book and this is fairly easy okay We've installed Panel Builder. Let's move on.